Okay, another video. Um, so you may have seen my last video using the server. If you have it, you can go check that out. But this video, um, I'm going to teach you how to use the use the UART. Okay, so you may have noticed with the PSOC Creator program, there's no console window where you can print things. So what you need to do is you need to print it to Termite. So you've got PSOC Creator, but there's also a program called Termite. Okay, and you connect to Termite via the UART. So it's um, what does it stand for? I have no idea. Um, UART. So this one. It stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter with input and output pins. Okay, anyway, that's the UART right here. Um, and so this is um, a serial data transmission thingy mobile that connects with Termite. Okay, so um, I'm going to remove the servo. Uh, so I'm just going to print random numbers. So this is useful for when you're debugging and when you want to know um, basically what your PSOC is outputting. For example, if you have a, a an ADC or if you have, I have no idea, like you're doing some image processing on a camera or any other things. So all you need is yeah the UART to see pronounce stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's see. You what? Uh, just plug it in and you're good. Um, let's see. We will save that. We will build that. Actually, let's set the pins first. Okay, RX and TX. Now, these pins, um, before you do any PSOC uh, pin allocations, uh, you should know that um, RX and TX for the UART are required and so they're automatically included okay don't use them for anything else um, these ones over here if you can see here it says RX and TX I'll put a high resolution photo up those ones are reserved for the UART okay you, you absolutely need to keep those free if you have other signals going into them uh, it's gonna wreck your, wreck your data transmission so you need to set um, RX to 12.6, pin 12.6, and TX to 12.7. Okay, that's good. Save that, build that, and let's go back to main. Okay, actually, before we go back to main, we're going to check the data sheet. Data sheet's your best friend. APIs, um, UART start. We need that. Starts a UART. Um, what else do we need? We're gonna put string, just printing strings. Okay, cool. We've got those two. Um, I've just called it UART, so let's delete this. I don't need that. OCD, put that up there. Alright, delete that one as well. Alright, so we need the UART started. Okay, um, now what else do we need? Um, now we need a temporary string because if you're gonna say print an integer to a, the UART, you need to put it to a string first. So I'll just call it string. Um, oh sorry, it has to be a character. So character string of say 30 long. I don't know how big your number's gonna be, but make it however big you want it to be but string can be called anything it's just temporary okay and what are you printing for example if you're printing the number of yo-yos you own equals how many yo-yos do I own I don't actually know maybe like 12 I don't know 12 sounds like a good number Oh, sorry, hang on, it's an integer. Um, yeah, I'm going to print that to termite. Okay, so um, what am I going to do now? Um, let's say every year I buy an extra yo yo. 
So I'm gonna get one new one and then I wanna print it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna let's print f to a string and I'm gonna print a a um, what's it called? An integer from yo-yos. Colon. Okay, cool. I don't know what this warning is. If you're a pro at programming, maybe you know. Sorry, I don't. Um, and what am I going to do? I'm going to uh, use the UART and I'm going to put the string. I'm going to put the string to UART. Okay, that's what that does. So again, what I'm doing is I'm writing my variable yo yo's here yeah, to the string and I'm putting that string with the UART, if that makes sense. Okay, and of course you need a delay every time. If you if you do it too fast, it's not going to print properly. Okay, so now I'm going to plug my PSOC in. Um, that's from my last program, but I'm going to program it now. I'm going to open Termite. Uh, what's happening? Click to connect. Okay, there we go. All right, you see it's counting up. That's my the number of yo-yos. I have. Um, of course I don't buy them that quick, but yeah, okay, cool. And you can also print text and stuff as well, but that's how you do it. Um, yeah, okay, so that's printing with um, UART and Termite. Now there is an issue with printing floats. You might find that it won't work, but I'll save that for my next video. So yeah, Hope that was useful to you, and yeah, happy programming, build some cool robots for me, um, yeah, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, bye.